Of course, people try to get the word out uh, about what's happening because you can't rely on corporate media. You, you can't rely on state media. So interestingly, people have been having trouble getting the word out. Instagram and Twitter blame glitches for deleting Palestinian posts, hmm, imagine that, about Sheikh Jarrah evictions. Instagram and Twitter said the accounts were suspended in error by our automated systems, and the issue has been resolved and content reinstated. It's incredible that this just so happened to happen to Palestinian posts. What a, what a strange occurrence. Wow. So you have Palestinians who are trying to get out their reality of what is happening there on the ground as they're being uh, evicted or the attempt is being made to evict them. And suddenly the social media powers that be are not allowing them. But apparently it's, it's just a glitch. What a crazy, crazy coincidence that this just so happened to happen right now, that this just so happened to happen to Palestinians who are trying to get the word out. Just a total coincidence, right? Instagram and Twitter have blamed technical errors for deleting posts mentioning the possible eviction of Palestinians from East Jerusalem but data rights groups fear discriminatory algorithms are at work and want greater transparency. Palestinians living in the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood claimed by Jewish settlers have taken to social media to protest as they face eviction, but some found their posts, photos, or videos removed or their accounts blocked starting last week. It came as a long-running legal case over evictions from homes in Sheikh Jarrah has fueled tensions in Jerusalem, where hundreds of Palestinians clashed with Israeli police on Monday. By Monday, um, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, excuse me if it's mispronounced, uh, Seven Amla, a nonprofit focused on social media, had received more than 200 complaints about deleted posts and suspended accounts related to Sheikh Jarrah. On Instagram, there was mostly content takedown. Even archives from older stories were deleted. On Twitter, most cases were an account suspension, said Mona Shetia, an advoc advocacy advisor at Anla. Instagram and Twitter said the accounts were suspended in error by our automated systems and the issue had been resolved and content reinstated. Instagram said in a statement that an automated update last week caused content reshared by multiple users to appear as missing, affecting posts on Sheikh Jarrah, Colombia, and US and Canadian indigenous communities. We are so sorry this happened, especially to those in Colombia, East Jerusalem, and indigenous communities who felt this was an intentional suppression of their voices and their stories. That was not our intent whatsoever, Instagram said. Calls for clarity. But in a joint statement, Amlay, Access Now, and other digital rights groups called on Twitter and Instagram to use transparent and coherent moderation policies and be more open when takedowns happen. So additionally, uh, Others call for more clarity. One of those affected was Hein Kudre, a 25-year-old Palestinian journalist based in Turkey, who noticed last Thursday that some posts about Sheikh Jarrah from her Instagram archives were not loading. I restarted my phone and my Wi-Fi, but it was all still missing and Instagram was very slow, Kudre said. Some of her posts had been restored by Friday afternoon, but some, dating as far back as April and even as recently as Saturday, were still missing, according to screenshots from her phone. Some affected users received messages about violating community standards. So it, it goes on. It's 
not a coincidence. There's no way that this is a coincidence. There's no way that it's just a, an error and that it just so happened to affect Palestinians and indigenous communities. Um, <laughs> the, the fact that those happen on Instagram and Twitter and it, it's just, <laughs> do they think we're stupid? Do they think that we're just dumb and we're just gonna say, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes total sense. No. We, we have to use social media. I mean, what are we gonna do? We, we have to go, and by we, I mean the collective we. We have to go where the people are. If we want to get the word out about something, we have to go where other people are. If Palestinians want people to know what's happening on the ground, they have to get the word out on, on Instagram or on Twitter where people are gonna see it. So if Instagram, Twitter decide to cancel their accounts or ban them or take down their tweets or their posts, what are they gonna do? Well. They can complain about it. They can, uh, you know, fight it. That's what we had to do with YouTube. We had to say, uh, why did you take down our 2020 compilation of reporting video saying that we were cyberbullying and harassing, which is not the case. And they said, oh, it was uh, because India is having COVID crisis. That's why we accidentally took your video down like mm, what <laughs> that doesn't make any sense what are you talking about so they reinstated our video and in this case Twitter and Instagram are saying oh we accidentally you know stopped Palestinians from getting the word out about what's happening in Israel whoopsie our mistake just a glitch whoops 